It is so exciting to be back here, Jen. After that year break, you can see lots of action and activity, pieces of vehicles flying around. We've got Bud Denker here. It is so amazing to be back. It's It feels like a dream a little bit, I think, you know? It kind of feels surreal what we've gone through the last 15, 16 months. But look at us now. We're back here to celebrate world-class racing in the Motor City. We're back here to celebrate people coming together. No social distancing, no mask. I can see people's smiles again. What a novel idea in the state of Michigan. You know, two weeks ago, we said we reopened America in Indianapolis with 155,000 people. This weekend, we're reopening Michigan. I, I love it. And not only are there the races on the track, but we are here in the paddock. And for me, and probably for you know everybody who comes here, this is one of my favorite spots. You really get to see behind the scenes. And but I know you know the racers, you know the vehicles really well. Here at Team Penske, they're preparing the vehicles to hit the track. What's going on in here that you can tell us? Well, we're going to be on the track here in about two hours for uh, for qualifying. Or for, uh, and we're going to uh, obviously be setting the field for the race this afternoon, 2 o'clock. So our mechanics, our engineers, technicians are all preparing the cars now for qualifying. Um, and then the drivers will be here in a little bit, obviously, to get some feedback on it. So qualifying at about 11 o'clock this morning for IndyCar. And then we'll have a race at 2 o'clock. Remember, we have three races today, Indy Lights, IndyCar, and the sports cars will be competing this afternoon at 5 o'clock. It is a full day, a beautiful day. There's still tickets left and available for those who want to see the races from the stands. And then you can uh, walk around and see some of the action and the activities and get to know the racers and uh, and see some of the crews. It's always kind of fun to see them actually assembling the vehicles. I see they, they're like putting pieces on the car, assembling pieces of them here. It's really fun to see that happen. And then as they come off the track, yeah. swapping out parts, getting ready for the next round. Yeah, you can't go into a locker room of football, can you, or baseball, but we call this a locker room. Look how close yeah. our, look how close the fans are to the, to the cars here as far as uh, getting ready to go. And that's the great thing about motorsports. Up close and personal, come on down. You mentioned tickets are available at DetroitGP.com and or walk up and get tickets. Park at the Renaissance Center. We'll shuttle you in by bus because you can't park on Belle Isle. Yep, today and tomorrow. So we've got racing all weekend long and you, you ran down today's schedules. What's up ahead tomorrow? Tomorrow we have two more races, Indy Lights and IndyCar. IndyCar goes on track tomorrow at noon, very early, so we're going to be on NBC Network. But despite that, we'll be at noon tomorrow, 2 o'clock today for IndyCar, 5 o'clock for sports cars. So three races today, two races tomorrow. The weather is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So you can come on down and get tickets, check it out in person. It is just such an incredible energy and vibe to be here and see the island just brought back to life, of course, I, it, part of the proceeds in this race does help keep Belle Isle clean and restore areas of Belle Isle, which is really incredible. So there's a lot of volunteers throughout the morning. We're going to be meeting and talking to some of the volunteers. And in a little bit, we're going to be meeting one of the men behind the wheel who will be hitting the track. So stay tuned for this preview of today's races. I'm so excited to be back, Jen. I'm just going to give you a look at the paddock. Look how cool this is. So great to see all, all the, the behind-the-scenes action, the action there, Jen. Thanks so much. We're going to check back in with you in our next half hour.